For Iron, they could move into third if they get the win here because they have Renomi Komo Yoyo in lane number five. A lot of people would say that she is the one to beat in this event. Again, the question for a lot of these athletes is how good can they be with that relay happening only moments ago? Yeah, and, and all the top swimmers swam that relay. You look at Erica Brown and Smaliga, from Avioya, Wasik Coleman. There really isn't any fresh swimmers in here. Sokova from New York did not swim that relay. She's at the, she'll be at the very top. But again, she's only ranked 14th. Her best result is fourth. Well, this season, Kasia Wasik's the only one out of the swimmers to have won this event. She's won it four times. Komo Yoyo, her highest finish is third, but she has won this event three times in her career, and she is joined now with Melanie Hanik. So the Iron upgrading their roster a little bit there. It really, you're, you're right, Bernie. It's, it's who can weather the storm of what that relay did to them 15 minutes ago? Yeah. Good start there by Chroma Vioyo. She was 0.67. Hanik was right above her, 0.62. But Wasik's going to be the first of the turn. She's on the left side in lane number two, having everyone try to track her down. Can Chroma Yoyo close in the final 25? No, she can't. Look at this. Toronto, they go first and second. One, two, and it's going to be a big jackpot holding by Wasik. Indeed, says Toronto. They get it done. 19 points scored by Wasik. Wow. That's a killer. Because Callie got jackpotted. Erica Brown was the only one that scored points for Cali there, Bernie. But Toronto finishing first and second. Chroma Vioyo was actually third in that. She made a little bit of a charge, but Toronto and their sprinters first the 400 free relay at 26 points.